Do you have the feeling that there are things you would like to do and accomplish, whether that might be to start your online business, to get in shape, to improve your social circle, or to develop a new skill, but you have this feeling that you're so far behind other people who've already done that and been successful at it, as you can see on social media, that it almost feels as if it was not even worth trying? because you're not gonna be able to catch up to them. Well, if that's how you feel, I got a solution for you because this has happened to me a few times in my life and all of them have turned out pretty well so far and I was able to catch up and I'm making this video because I have a couple friends who've been stuck with the same mindset for years. They always think that all the ideas that they have and all the things they wanna do, it's too late for them, it's not worth it anymore, whatever, but I'm here to tell you otherwise. So let me explain this to you and let's break it down right now. So I wanna make this video very, very short, right? And to give you an example and to illustrate my point, I have to explain to you how I started my e-commerce store back in 2018, which is something that I've kinda already talked about in this channel, right? The one that I was making 100k a month. But when I originally started my e-commerce store, I had this feeling like, oh, it's too late for me. I'm not going to make it. But I wanted to try anyways, because I was desperate. I just wanted to do something. I wanted to start a business. So even though I thought it was too late, I went with it anyways. But here's the key. And this is why I was so successful at it. Because by some miracle, I had this amazing mindset that the game I was trying to play, okay, so this is me in 2018, was the long game of catching up. I was not playing the game of let me make a lot of money and let me make this e-commerce store work. What I saw and what I realized is that I was here, mile zero, because I knew nothing about online business. And then I saw all these guys online, which back in 2018 were like, you had the Ty Lopez, you had the Russell Bronsons, um, I don't remember all of them, you had the Sam Ovens, all of these guys, right? Which they seemed back then like these were the big guys. These were the ones that were making all of the money. And what I saw is that Every so often, you know, maybe every six months, every 12 months, every 18 months, there's a new opportunity that comes along, right? Some golden opportunity that's going to make you a lot of money. And what I knew was that the guys who make the most money are the ones who get into those opportunities first. But the thing is that I knew that I was at the back of the line and I knew that the way these things move are like this, right? This is a line that's constantly moving forward through time. And we go like this, right? This is 2018, 2019, and 2020 comes, and now there's some magical new opportunity. But the ones that make the most out of this opportunity are the ones that are way ahead of the line, which means that they're prepared, they have successful businesses already, they have the skills, they have the structure, they have the connections, they have the resources to make the most out of this new opportunity. They even have like the knowledge to know that there is some new opportunity, that there is some new thing, right? They can spot new trends because they're in the trenches doing it every single day. Now they're here making the most out of this opportunity and they keep moving. Now they take advantage of this one, now this one, right? By the time they're here in 2021 or 2022, 2023, now I'm using the, the opportunities in 2020, right? If I'm staying at the back of the line. So what I realize is that, okay, it's not so much about me doing e-com or this or whatever. It's just about playing the game so I can at least like move my position forward. And I can hopefully at least take myself around here. I'm not saying like at 100 but at least maybe like 75 or 80, so that then when we move forward in time, I can almost be there. When new opportunities come along, I can be ready and I can capitalize on it. So that's the way I saw it. I just saw e-commerce as a jumping point from, for me to go into the next thing and be ready for it. Now, luckily, even though I thought I was late, I still was able to make a lot of money from e-commerce, which is also a lesson in itself. Like, even if you think you're late, there's a high likelihood that you're not late, actually. And let me ask you another thing. Like, if there's something that you're wondering, that you want to do, and you also have this thought like, oh yeah, I'm late. It's like, okay, do you have any other alternative? Do you have any other plan? Do you have any other idea? Because if you don't, first of all, how do you actually know that you're late? And second of all, if you don't do that, what else are you going to do if you don't know about it? So just jump on it. And the same thing happened to me then in 2020, right? In 2020, I started this affiliate marketing business. These are numbers, a screenshot from the results that I was having. This was in 2020. I started affiliate marketing and same thing. I thought that I was kind of late because since 2016, there was this group of guys that I knew that had been doing affiliate marketing and they had been crushing it, doing millions of dollars. And I was like, here I come in 2020, like, of course I'm late, I'm not gonna do anything. But you know, let's be honest, yeah, I didn't make millions, but like I was making $3,000 a day fairly quickly, right? Within the first month, we were already making like 1,000 a day. And then after a couple of months, we were at 3,000 a day with 66% profit margins, right? So from these, like $2,000 every single day was profit. This was just the expenses right here, which is pretty, pretty nice, right? And honestly, this is the exact same game that I'm playing right now with YouTube. I have this feeling it's 2024 and I'm starting a YouTube channel now. 
I don't even know what I'm doing. You look at the views that I'm getting, they're ridiculous. You know, I'm uploading these videos that are getting like 20 views. Yeah, sometimes I upload something and it gets some decent views, you know, like 400 views here and almost 500 here, 600 views. But for the most part, right, I have this feeling like, man, it's too late and I cannot regret it. I, I think to myself, like, man, I should have started a YouTube channel back when I was doing this. I could have caught all of these trends, you know, when people were talking about dropshipping. That was, there was no competition back then or just very, very little. I could have crushed it. But still, even though I have this feeling, I'm just going with it. And this is basically my strategy. Like, if doing the YouTube channel can help me get ahead and then when the next opportunity comes along, I can have some sort of advantage and I can be there to make the most out of it, then so be it. That is amazing already. And that is the mindset shift. That's something that really helps me to not focus so much on the outcomes and how many views that I'm getting and all of that stuff, which for sure I still look at it, but also realizing that there's a lot of good things that are going to come out of it, regardless of having no results. So whatever thing it is that you're thinking about right now, which is like, oh, it's too late, too late, but you still have it on your hand. You're still thinking about it. Like, should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Just pull the trigger and go for it. So anyways, that's it for this video. I hope it made sense and I hope that you like it. Click on this video. I'm sure you're also going to like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment, leave me a like, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Take care. Peace.